20 sober celebrities, famous alcoholics that are in recovery, addicts and alcoholics, people we all know, we both know, all of us know. That's on today's Sober Delic James Addiction Recovery live stream daily. Popping. I'm going to read a men's health article about 20 celebrities while you guys join the party. Don't forget to chat and mix it up a little, you know what I'm saying? I hope you all are well out there. We'll start from the bottom. And now we're here. We'll start from the bottom of this article. It starts with a individual that you may know with the initials M, M, Marshall Mathers, M and M. Celebrating, I think he's going on six years. He almost died of an overdose in 2007. 16 years sober. Chris Martin. Who I don't know who that is. Does anybody know who Chris Martin is? Who is it? I think he's the Coldplay guy, maybe. He's the 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 uh, the artist from Coldplay, Yellow. Ah. Yeah, he looks like Coldplay. Tyler, the creator, the rapper, shared in an interview with Fantastic Men magazine why he doesn't drink alcohol. I just don't want to drink, he says. I know that I don't want to be that drunk guy. But I do know I want to hit a jump on a dirt bike. I can look at that and say, I want to do that. I've never seen anyone drunk like, damn, I want to be drunk like that is what uh, Tyler says. Joe Manganiello was homeless, careless, and broke with no career. Joe Manganiello. Daniel Radcliffe. It's slow flight. I barely think about it. He explained to the Telegraph. Uh, after a long route to getting sober after filming the Harry Potter franchise. Harry Potter's sober, y'all. Next up, we have Pharrell Williams. Pro skateboarder, actor, musician. Everybody else can do what they want, he says, but that stuff isn't for me. I've been drunk nine times in my life and I ate some weed brownies once. Williams told Paper Magazine, well, good for you, Pharrell. Andy Murray looks like a famous tennis player. Those guys are athletes. He says, I always wanted to see how fat I could go. Oh. He says, I I wanted to see how far I could go into the sport, Murray said about giving up booze. I didn't want to do anything to jeopardize that. Okay. Kit Harrington. Harrington shared his struggles with alcohol and addiction in the interview with the Sunday Times saying, I went through some pretty horrible stuff. He has now been alcohol free for over five years. Colin Farrell is sober. Farrell recently opened up about spending more than a decade sober and admits that he now does a bit of yoga and like a nice hike and uh, and drink dragon nasal juice. Calvin Harris looks like a musician. I stopped drinking because it was actually making me ill, the DJ told BBC. It was affecting my brain in the worst way. Calvin Harris. Gerard Butler. Let's see who, who's in it. Glam Gazingo. Richard Lewis was in the movie. Drunks, which was basically an AA meeting. Cool. I'll have to check that out, Glam. How are you doing today? I love when you can actually see the, uh, the skimbal bims. Oh, I love when it actually focuses on me, too. 
Oh! Look, now it's all struggling. Good. On lunch. Uh, yeah, maybe four isn't the best time to do this stream, but we're already here, so let's do it. Gerard Butler. Maybe a stronger person wouldn't have needed to go, he said about going to rehab. When you hear the word rehab, you think he's a mess, he's fucked up, but I'm glad I did it. I made a shitload of wrong decisions in my life, but I know I've made some right ones as well. Gerard Butler going to rehab. Rob Lowe. Lowe credits his sobriety to his wife, Sherry Burkoff. Burkoff. She inspired me to get sober. She's put up with my defects of character, as they call it, he says. In sobriety, the lessons keep coming if you're lucky enough to be alone, be along as, as long as I have. That's damn straight. It says right in the big book, more will be revealed. And it's, I, I mean, you know what I mean? Ben Affleck. Affleck has been open about his struggle with alcohol for years and completed his third stint in rehab in 2018. More recently, Affleck told The Hollywood Reporter, he became out of no desire of my own one of the poster boys. He became one of the poster boys for actor alcoholism and recovery and the whole thing. And the best part about that is that sometimes people call me up and they're like, hey, can you help me out? People call Ben Affleck and uh, ask if they can, if he can help them out. He said that's the best part. I also have up here the service work of AA and an explanation of of, of such. What's been happening? Uh, I have an interview for. It, it could be a good good deal. Um, I've just been going to Alcoholics Anonymous meetings, bro, daily. Going to yoga tonight. Found out that there's anti-depressants uh, being held captured, captive in our, in our muscles. And if you flex your muscles, you can release your anti-anxiety uh, and anti-depressants. So I've been, uh, I've been going. This guy knows what I'm talking about. Zach Efron, the go-to man for all things fitness, nutrition, and health. Efron has chosen a life without alcohol. What I found is structure, Efron told L on the topic of his own sobriety back in 2016. That led me to a balance of opposites. You get, you get out of life what you put in. Robert Downey Jr., no surprise here, the Avenger and Iron Man star has been sober for over 15 years, 20 now. Downey Jr. Uh, made headlines in early 2000s due to his battle with addiction, but after he turned his life around. Yeah, he woke up in somebody else's baby nursery. He woke up in the bed, in somebody else's kid's bed. In the house, they called the cops on him. Brad Pitt. I didn't want to live that way anymore, Pitt told GQ Style. When asked about his struggles with alcohol addiction and going cold turkey, he reportedly hasn't had a drink in six years. That's probably about 10 now. Tom Holland at Spider-Man. I haven't been uh, on the THC, brother. Uh, I've been getting high on the 12 steps of AA. God, man. I've been floating on the pink cloud. Not to say I won't. I still believe in the medicinal values of pot. I'm just taking it easy right now because... Uh, because I want... I don't want anything... I'm putting AA a priority. The 12 steps, I'm putting them as a priority. Going to meetings, reading the book doing all things recovery I'm doing I'm, uh, and even though uh, pot and mushrooms are used in recovery from alcoholism and other deadly drugs I'm not doing them right now 
Maybe later. <laughs> also, I might have to get a job. Because <laughs> y'all ain't dropping enough super chats. Um, no. Don't worry about that. Uh, I may have to get a job because I need a, I need a structure. I, I, I'm neurodivergent. We've talked about this. Uh, how a lot of alcoholics, addicts may be neurodivergent. Neurodivergent. Neuro, ne neurodivergence. Neurodivergent. Autism, ADHD, things of that nature. Finish up this article. Tom Holland, this British actor, British actor Tom Holland, known for playing Spider-Man, opened up earlier in the year about his sobriety on Jay Shetty's podcast on purpose. He admitted that quitting alcohol was the best thing I've ever done after realizing the extent, extent of his dependence. Bradley Cooper says, if I continued it, I was really going to sabotage my whole life. Cooper got sober at the age of 29 and has now been a teetotal celebrity for over 20 years. Tom Hardy. If I had four pints of lager and a half bottle of vodka, I could turn this room into an absolute fucking nightmare in about three minutes, Hardy told The Mirror about getting sober for life. From both drinking and drugs, I could destroy everything in my life. I have worked so hard for, he says. And the number one celebrity that is now sober, Samuel L. Jackson. Jackson readily admits that sobriety helped him to become a better actor by getting into character in a deeper way. I took it a step further, he says. I drank and I used drugs. I like the feeling of not being cognizant of what was going on around me. That's Sam L. Jackson's sentiments on getting sober. What's up, O Dog? Uh, Miss Hashtag Holly. You missed the celebrities, the 20 celebrities, but I'll read them back for the eight viewers that are new in the stream. Oh, dog, what's up? I had a hernia surgery yesterday. Feeling it today. Youch. Bummer. Tell us what a, a hernia, for those of us who don't know, uh, is. Lunch is over. Later, Glam. I'll see you. Uh, we'll see you later. Glom says I'm a responsible THC user, not using at work or causing havoc in my life or others. It's true. Uh, I'm just not doing it right now because I am focused like Top Gun on getting back to life. Um, you can be responsible with it. It's not a physically addicting drug, uh, but you can also be dependent on it. Let me read these uh, celebrities one more time. I'm not going to read the, the skimbly bims. Just read them right like this. Goes from the bottom. Eminem. Chris Martin. Tyler, the creator. These are sober celebrities. Joe Manganiello. Yellow, Mangiganiello, Daniel Ratcliffe, that's Harry Potter, Pharrell Williams, pro skater, musician, Andy Murray, tennis player, Kit Harrington, uh, beats me, who the hell that is, Colin Farrell, Calvin Harris, Gerard Butler, there's Rob Lowe, Ben Affleck, Ben Affleck, Zach Efron, Robert Downey Jr., Brad Pitt, Tom Holland, Bradley Cooper, Tom Hardy, Samuel L. Jackson. There's 20 celebrities for all you men out there that need some inspiration. 
Oh dog says, hey, thank you. Mine was in my belly button. My ab muscle tore and my intestines were poking through. God damn. I'm sorry to hear that, uh, oh dog. That's a bumma. That is a bumma. And, uh, oh man, dude, that's gnarly. You mind if I ask how old you are, oh dog, and what caused that? That's a bummer, mate. Yeah, uh, I've always wondered if there's an AA meeting in Hollywood, California somewhere, one of these kind of uh, secret meetings with celebs, uh, with nothing but celebs. Could you imagine how fun those AA meetings, anybody that's been to an AA meetings know that it gets pretty, uh, it gets pretty wild in there sometimes. And it's like a party with VIP members, uh, and, or, uh, you know, RSVP, you know, it's like a secret club. You know what I mean? Everybody's got something in common. So nobody's really, uh, afraid of each other or anything like that. It's just kind of, uh, it's just kind of like a, it's kind of like a club. I imagine in Hollywood, there must be some AA meeting. There must be one, like Beverly Hills AA meeting. Uh, there's gotta be, bro. Because like Bradley Cooper was Brad Pitt's sponsor or some shit like that. I, I forget who whose was who. Maybe I'll cover it here on this channel. There has to be an un underground, uh, right, Holly? There has to be a Beverly Hills AA meeting, you know what I mean? Where nothing but celebrities go because they're not going to, I don't know. I've never been a celebrity, but I know I, I probably wouldn't want to mess around with like <sighs> civilians. Or it's just, they go and basically it's like a secret meeting where they all go and it's like, they not only have the alcoholism in common, but they have the fact of, they have a whole set of troubles. Same with real estate agents or, what's another drinking career, and rock uh, musicians. Uh, I mean, I had somebody, I had a roadie in one of my meetings, a roadie from a, uh, Carrie Underwood was in town. One of her roadies came to the meeting. But, but other than that, I imagine you go out west to Beverly Hills and there's got to be a secret celebrity meeting with Sam L. Jackson and motherfucking Bradley Cooper and Brad Pitt and goddamn Edward Norton and fucking... Who else knows? Who else is in, uh... Gimbly Bims, Gimbly Boo. Hey, let's look it up. Let's look this up. Hashtag. Uh... Is there AA meetings in Beverly Hills, California? Is what I just asked Google's. Just asked Google yeah, 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 yeah. meetings at 504 North Camden Drive, Beverly Hills, California. This is alcoholicsanonymous.com. That's not AA.org. AA.org is where you go for information. Meetings in Beverly Hills. Roxbury Men's Stag Meeting, 40, 471 South Roxbury Drive, Beverly Hills, California. Here's one, Our Lady of Lourdes, Beverly Hills, 12 and 12 Book Study, uh, Book Study, Los Angeles, Pasadena, Glendale, Fullerton, Long Beach. But I'm saying, like, Beverly Hills, brah. This is a men's meeting at 8 p.m. 
tonight. Anybody out there from Beverly Hills? There's an 8 p.m. men's meeting tonight, an 8 p.m. Uh, men's stag meeting. These are two different... Oh, wait, that's the same location. Yeah, bro. That's got to be... That's a closed meeting. And that's got to be... Man. I wonder. Why, 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 wonder? Why? Skimbley Bimbers. Trippy Seeds, what up? Do AA meetings actually sit in circles? That would get to me too much potential accidental eye contact. You learn what to do. I, I face this all the time. You can sit in the back. You can sit in the front. Sometimes we sit in circles. Sometimes, you know, different meetings are different meetings. Some have couches, you know what I mean? These Beverly Hills ones, it's probably on a yacht or some shit. No, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Trippy, you just gotta go, bro. Uh, you just gotta go. You can't just ask about it because nobody will tell you the same experience you're gonna get. You know what I mean? You just gotta go to a couple meetings. This one I was at this morning sat in a circle. Uh, and there is eye contact, but these, you become you get to know these people uh they become your family to be to be honest um you start to make friends and family i've known my home group i know those people for over 10 years now 13 years um But I hear what you're saying. I have this thing with eye contact that uh, if I'm not comfortable and I make eye contact, my, my fucking head will shake. <laughs> but that is, has that is has been dwindling as my fear of people has left me. Uh, really, my fear of people has left me. I'm not as anxious in anymore because uh, I'm not thinking about myself. Thank God. If you want to know how to be happy, don't think. If you want to know what mental health is, it's don't think. And don't especially stop thinking about yourself as much. Uh, you gain self-esteem by doing esteemable things for others. You feel good by doing good things for others. Uh, you can't think your way into right action. You can only act your way into right thinking. So fake it till you make it, bro. That's what I've been doing. Uh, I'm going to yoga for the third time tonight. The first time I sucked. The second time I sucked a little less. You know, skill-wise. I'm not back there sucking anybody off or anything. <laughs> Uh, and then the third time today, hopefully I'll be doing that warrior pose like a like a Van Damme motherfucker. If I'm high, forget it. I can't hold any eye contact. It's like they can hear my thoughts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, eye contact is something I've worked on over the years. Uh, it's 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 one of my things that I've had to got I've had to get over. Now these days. Ever since I started chilling with God, and God's on my side, and ever since I started thinking of others and doing service work and actually doing the next right thing, that's how I, that's how you make connections, meeting eye contact. And I used to be pissed that everybody could do it, really, except for me. Hey, what's up, Paul Peacock? I just had I just read a, a list of actors, some of them British. Uh, Tom Holland, I think, is one of them. Sober, sober actors. Having issues with my internet at the moment. Give me a second. Give me a second, Mike. AA's the shit, though, man. I'm telling you. I thank God for AA. I, I wouldn't have anywhere to go. 
Yesterday's stream was interesting. We were talking about um, how society may have actually caused alcoholics to think like we do and that's why alcohol is such a popular drug is because society demands so much from us that over the decades and centuries we have developed anxiety depression eating disorders and alcoholism what's up island lake two dollars in the basket keeps me out of the casket you can tell this guy goes to meetings i read the 20 sober celebrities if anybody's interested bradley cooper brad pitt samuel l jackson tom holland tom hardy eminem gerard butler uh and if you think not drinking when you're uh what is the deal with my camera when you think not drinking is hard when you're just a dude uh over here imagine doing it as a rock star or a or a musician i met a, a guy in the room he's a musician plays piano uh he's from london or, or over there and he he actually eric clapton is another celebrity that is in recovery and he said he uh well i can't talk about that now can i Listen, won't let you listen, huh? Africa Ma. Meg, Meg our base. My magic mushrooms stopped growing. Any tips? Talk to Copic about that one. Um, I didn't even get mine to grow. Uh, all I grew was some mold. Um, maybe they ran out of stuff to feed on. Uh, maybe the, the environmental, uh, out of nutrients is what I was going to say. I am trippy, damn it, this internet. Oh, wait, hold up. Huh? Yeah, trippy. He's back from Africa. And he's fighting with his internet. Your magic mushrooms might be out of nutrients, according to Stoyan. How they do. Good luck with that mega base. Yeah, Island Lake, we were just wondering if there's AA meetings over in uh, Beverly Hills where, like, you can be chilling. And there'll be, like, Sam L. Jackson and Brad Pitt and Bradley Cooper and Eminem just chilling. The two things that hold us back from recovery are brains and money. Money, huh? What's that all about, dude? I know how it feels to be too smart for AA, because I've been there. Uh, money, uh, what is that? Like some people say I can't go to rehab because I gotta go to work. Yeah, I know that. I've been there too. Putting banana skin in soil to help weed grow. I have not, but I'll look it up right now, Trippy. I got some weed growing upstairs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I may not be smoking it. Ain't nobody, I ain't got no weed, you know what I mean? I'm just kidding. I'll be sending SWAT. Let me see here. Banana peels growing weed. Banana peels in the soil to grow cannabis. Banana peels are rich in potassium, nitrogen, magnesium, calcium, and phosphorus which are essential nu nutrients for cannabis. These nutrients can help improve your plant's health, increase yields, and enhance terpene development. Banana peel fertilizer for cannabis. Well, I'll be a son of a gun. How do you do this? Oh, wait, hold up. No, no, no.
saving your banana peels, banana peel fertilizer for cannabis. Banana peels are often considered garbage or compost. Actually be used as a natural and organic nutrient for cannabis. Heavy feeders and need a lot of nutrients to grow big and healthy. Many ways to grow your own organic nutrients for cannabis, but using banana peels is one of the simplest and most effective methods. Not only are banana peels free, if you have a banana, they're also packed with essential nutrients. How to make your own banana peel nutrients for cannabis, as well as use them and when it's best to use them in your grow operation. Also discuss the benefits of using banana peels as organic nutrients for cannabis. Yeah, how do you do it? Banana peels can also help improve the soil structure of your cannabis cultivation by increasing my microbial activity, adding organic matter, and increasing the soil's water holding capacity. Healthier plants promote root development, more efficient nutrient uptake. How to start using banana peel fertilizer. Once you've started saving your banana peels, the next step is to prepare them for use as organic nutrients. Here. This is done by allowing the banana peels to dry out and then grinding them into a powder or steeping them into tea. Simple and effective fertilizer for your plants using dried banana peels. Rich in nutrients and will help your plants grow healthy and strong. In order to dry them out, you can spread them out on a flat surface in a sunny area and allow them to dry out for a few days. Once the banana peels have dried out, you can then grind them into a fine powder using a coffee grinder or a blender. Once you have a fine powder, you're ready to start using banana peels as organic nutrients for your cannabis plants. To make this fertilizer, simple place dried banana peels in a blender or food processor and pulse in a fine powder then add one cup of this powder to a gallon of water and mix well for best, best results apply this fertilizer to your plants every two weeks well i'll be damned banana peel fertilizer tea is an easy and effective way to fertilize your plants simply steep the banana peels in water for a few days and then use the water to water your plants the nutrients in the banana peels will help nourish your plants and promote growth. If you are looking for a natural and organic fertilizer, banana peel fertilizer tea is a great option. You'll need three to four ripe banana peels, one gallon of water, and a large covered container. Place the banana peels in the container, pour the water over the peels, Place the lid on the container and let the mixture steep for 24 to 48 hours, that's one or two days. Remove the lid and strain the mixture. Use the fertilizer immediately or store it in a cool, dark place for later use. Why would you strain the mixture? Why wouldn't you just put it all in there? I hate stuff like that. Dilute the fertilizer with water and apply it to your plants. To use, dilute it with water. I, that's what you just did. Strain it. Oh. They must be like, you must have to strain the powder out. This fertilizer is best used during flowering due to high levels of potassium. Because of the high potassium content, this cannabis banana tea has to be diluted with water before consumption. Our recommendation is to water it down to 110 concentration. Well, I'll be a son of a gun, man. You learn something new every day. Joe Shaves in the building. Banana peel fertilizer thanks Holly I'll take a look at it skimble deep embers you got your first flush huh 
1571 days sober. Go shaves. Yeah, I remember that. I'll have to look at it, uh, Holly. Some of the stuff floats right by me over my head. Quarter an ounce, not a lot. Are these Liberty Caps? Power cut, so my heat mat was off for a while. But the mushrooms are here. Joe Shaves, this bolt tat is just for the stock market. Bulls and bears. Bulls and bears. Stock market shit. Everyone asks if I'm a tourist. Strain them down because the mass of the leftover is greater than the water containing the nutrients, thus is discardable. Oh. Oh, so you've done it, Stoian. Oh, okay, cool, man. Bana I eat a ton of bananas, too. Um, sounds like you needed some sleep. Really? Yeah, the, um, I've noticed that I have been, well, I, I, I spoke about this on my last couple streams. I can get, well, I'm moody. I've always been moody. Um, but I've noticed recently that one day will be super up, maybe two, three, or even four days in a row will be up. But if I have one super up day, my next day, which was yesterday, is down. Liberty Caps are coming out next autumn. I'll be out in the field a few times, but now I can grow cubensis properly. I probably won't be as active in the natural harvesting community. Fuck, I mean, I would. Liberty Caps are much better than cubensis, I think. Pineapple, avocado, oranges. So do you do them the same way? Uh, dry them out? Orange peels. I recommend turmeric for depression. Final stage of convalescence. Is that right? Um. Yeah, good looks on the banana peels. Definitely going to have to try that. And I already have some. Anyway, uh, those are the 20 celebrities. I'm doing a half hour to hour stream between 4 and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day. I'm off to feed my dogs and make some dinner and go to yoga. I'm about 117 days sober from alcohol and other deadly drugs. Also nicotine, and I haven't smoked weed in just about that long as well. Uh, or mushrooms, but that's beside the point. We're talking deadly drugs, alcohol, uh, cannabis and mushrooms are not deadly. Alcohol is, nicotine is. Yeah, I actually, uh, here we go. Um, yeah, the SIGs, man. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, Copic. Uh, I, I had to smoke one. I've smoked one. It was a hundred, a 100 cigarette. We call them missiles over here. I smoked one when I was super stressed and in resentment mode. I told that story about the person in my neighborhood I was resenting. And I just, it, it had been two months since I smoked. And I just grabbed a cigarette and smoked it. Discard the capsules. Yeah, nicotine barely ever leaves you, man. Uh, don't let that be an excuse. 
But that's another thing I do. Yesterday's stream was about the environment we live in and how it influences our mental uh, states like depression, anxiety, instant gratification, ADHD, autism, shit like that. And cigarettes came up. Why are cigarettes uh, so common? Nicotine addiction is so common. Big effort with huge benefits. Matub on the scene with a good point. Drink the turmeric. A latte. Yeah, I was vaping, Miss Forbes. As a matter of fact, I haven't smoked cigarettes uh, other than that missile a couple weeks ago. I haven't smoked cigarettes in years. Uh, but I, I do, I, I vaped, but I, I quit that shit too. Number one, once you quit it, it's like you have another paycheck coming in. And number two, who knows what it's doing to your lungs. And number three, I'm trying to get warm hands. Does anybody else out there have cold hands? Because your boy Soberdelic does. Curry flavored latte gonna be interesting. <laughs> Oh, shit. Hey, it's Rafe. What up, hey, Rafe? How you doing? You pink-handed motherfucker. <sighs> Cold toes, not hands. Yeah, I got that too. I wonder if it's nerve damage due to all the drugs and alcohol we fucking put our bodies through. I don't have any hands. You don't have any hands, Holly? Well, that's pretty interesting. I really want to get back on vapes, but it took me years to quit last time. Well then, we'll get back on those other, you know, instead of cigs, cigarettes. I think they're, it's cheaper. It's for sure, well, I'm not gonna say for sure, but it seems healthier. Cold hands, warm heart. That's what they say, but I think we all have a warm heart. Better not have a cold heart. Shit. You dead. Man, I appreciate all y'all's experience, strength, and hope. Those of you who are going to meetings and those of you who aren't, I appreciate every one of you. And what we share here daily between 4 and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I'll nail down a time one of these days. I just know it. Uh, I hope the rest of your evening is a plethora of love and ecstasy. Nah, man. Quit the cigs. Go to vapes. When you quit the vapes, go to Nick Tablets. Nicotine Tablets from CV... Well, you know where to find them. Or gum. And then go from that to nothing. Or from that to regular Tic Tacs. You know, it's all about the step down. Don't make it hard on yourself. All right, y'all, I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Super active, but uh, you sound busy. That's all good. I'm glad you got your medicine. My dude loves some mushrooms. I was actually thinking about getting some recently, but uh, Lifetime habit nicotine vape, right. You can put it down. What, you've never picked one up before? You never had a vape? They're super convenient and my impression when I have one is that I be hitting it like it's a pacifier, bro. Me and my sister call them our little binkies. Where's my binky? But I, you know, I'd be breathing that shit more than air. So it's not for me. As long as it's safe at the store and not in my house, I won't be hitting it. That's what she said. Picked them up for 10 years, yeah. Uh, super addicted, exactly. 
James Alexander Taylor, I haven't been going to meetings. Just have a therapist once a week. Six weeks sober now, feeling pretty good at the moment, and you're looking really well now, dude. Well, thank you, James Alexander. And uh, six weeks is big. Fucking A, dude, whatever it takes. I highly recommend meetings. They're free, and instead of having one therapist, you have hundreds. But whatever's working for you, bro, I'm happy for you. Six weeks is, is big, dude. Keep it up. Yeah, it's it's permanently in my hand, next to my bed stand, on the couch. I'll be hitting it like a binky, like a little baby has a little pacifier. Where's my binky? And if you can't find it, it's like the end of the world. Who stole my goddamn baby? Quit him and started smoking six for a year, one to three cigarettes a day. Think about it. Be honest with yourself. Is it one to three or is it five to seven? Think about it. You may have just, if you catch yourself in lies like this, lying to yourself, that's the most important thing. You gotta catch when you're lying to yourself. Is it one to three or is it five to seven, bro? You gotta you gotta admit it. <laughs> yeah, the Nick Tax, they're nicotine tablets that are the shape of Nick Tax. That's what works for me. Copic quit for his son, but basically 20 to 40 cigarettes a day. You don't have enough. If you have enough mushrooms, what does Stoyan say? If you have enough mushrooms, nothing is impossible. Yo, I'll tell a quick story before I go. I was in a hotel room once. I lost the charger for my nicotine vape. Therefore, there is no access to nicotine. I was also coming off of an ounce of Cubensis ingestion. I'd eaten an ounce. I told that story on this channel. Just look up. James tells the story of his ounce of mushroom. Uh, but anyway, I decided that I didn't need, need nicotine for like 14 hours it worked. And there are studies that it, it lasts longer than that. Months and even permanently quitting nicotine from use of psilocybin that is in magic mushrooms. Thinking going back to AA, James says, like the people there, the coffee's pretty good. Like they say, putting down the drink is just half the battle I need. I think I need a dog, furry partner in crime. They say, get a plant first, then get a dog. If you keep the plant alive, get a dog. If you keep the dog alive, then you can get a girlfriend or a boyfriend. That's what they say, and I've found it to be true. I've killed a couple fish on the way. Thank God I haven't killed my dogs. Plants definitely killed some orchids. Uh, smoking mushrooms, I don't know, can you do that? Yeah, if you're disturbed about something, Daniel Kopic, uh, it is usually something, I mean, it is always something wrong with you. If you are disturbed, it's something wrong with you, not your, not the world, it's something wrong with you. Spider plants are easy to take care of, plus you can uh, you can propagate them very easily. You can powder the mushrooms and put them in a spliff. Does it, does it have you tripping? Because I powder my mushrooms all the time. Gail, good evening. Combination, you plan on quitting smoking. Avoid marijuana combination we don't say marijuana around here stoyan over here in america they invented that that term marijuana so people would associate uh cannabis with at the time in the 1930s or whatever it was dirty mexicans but you know that's a racist term and we don't use that term 
You can all you want. I'm just saying. I know things. <laughs> Tripping on a stage of peace and satisfaction. I'll have to look it up. Control my reality in any way, shape, or form. I would feel zero need to break from reality. You can't control it, brother. Uh, that's what AA teaches us. Our our problem is control. If you let go of control, aka hand it to God, the third step, you start to find peace and contentment. And therefore, you don't have to alter your state. Ganja. Yeah, I, I've never really heard anybody smoking mushrooms, uh, but I would try it if it is beneficial. All right, y'all, I'm going to eat some chicken, get some exercise, and I want you all to have a good night. And I'll see you tomorrow, between, every day between 4 and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here. And until then, keep it clean, keep it real, keep doing the damn thing. Peace.